What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora and thank you so much for watching. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow your girl on Instagram because you already know we are growing the family across all platforms. So today is Tuesday, Tuesday, July 6th. It is about 12.30 now. Um, I actually just finished filming I don't know why I said it like that. Filming. <laughs> I just finished filming uh, my Shein try on haul so that it will actually be up before this video goes up. So I'll be sure to link it in the bottom bar down below. But actually getting ready to head out. My brother and I, actually I think I just saw him. Yeah, he actually just pulled up. So my brother and I are gonna just go gallivanting through Boston. Uh, we figured it's a pretty nice day out. It says it's gonna rain later on today, but I'm like, Let's take our chances. So we're gonna head into the city. Might stop into Zara real quick. Uh, we're gonna head to the ICA, the art museum here in Boston to actually go see the Virgil Abloh um, exhibit. And then we might grab lunch. So something real nice. I figured it's a nice day out. He was off, I'm off all week. So I figured let's hang out and have a nice day in Boston. So wanted to bring you guys along. Uh, let me just grab the rest of my stuff and we will head out right now. You're gonna be vlogging too, bro. <laughs> I'm like, out here, <laughs> little brother sister day. So my brother and I are actually here in Zabra, looking around and shopping a little bit. Um, they definitely got some cute pieces still, but obviously because of the sales going on, you kind of have to like pick through. See, like these pants are fire. This is definitely in line with what I'm looking for. See, like these? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like nice and like neutral, high waisted. Cute. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. So those are cute. The question is if everything is gonna fit, because y'all know Zara and their dressing rooms are so close, child. So that's the that's that's the key. But super cute. Oh, they have this skirt here. Yes, they have it. And it's on sale. Oh, it's extra small. Damn, it's on sale too. I love this. I saw Aaliyah's face wear this. But of course they don't have my freaking size. <sighs> all the color. I'm just loving all the color. You guys know this is my go-to dress at Zara. If you guys watch my haul, love that. It's a cute little top. I was really hoping to see some more of the sandals and the heels I was looking for, but they weren't here. But this dress is pretty with this nice little keyhole detail. This is cute too. Really cute for vacation. All the vacay vibes right now at Zara. See, like these skirts, I can always tell I like them, but I never know what my size is going to be. And does anybody got time to be returning stuff? Cute. It is a beautiful day on Newberry Street. Streets is popping. Oh, see, they got space. I think I had to open an umbrella child because it's kind of, it's looking a little hot over there. Oh, this is, see, I didn't know they added this. Super cute. So cute. They got the AC booming in here, bro. Uh, you know, I love a good little, nice little stop in at Nike. Brighten you guys up a little bit. Nice little stop in. See, the only thing I can't stand that they do about some sneakers, especially for girls, like why they play us dirty like that with these colors? Like, who said they wanted this? You know, they got a nice fresh pair though, the all white spray hit 80 or whatever. Yeah, dusty bro. But it's, it's booming in here. All right, what's up, you guys? So just checking in. Um, as you guys saw, we went over to Zara, and then we hit up Nike store real quick. Didn't pick up anything in Nike, but we were just kind of looking around. So now we are here at Stephanie's on Newberry Street. If you guys can see behind me, oh, it's a little bit bright. It's a little bit bright. But yeah, as you guys can see behind me, we've got Newberry Street. It's like super busy out right now. Yeah, super busy out obviously because it's a beautiful day in Boston. So when people have an opportunity to go out, they're going out, chow. So drinking a water right now just to get refreshed. 
Also got myself, y'all already know, my go-to Aperol Spritz here at Stephanie's. And then we're just gonna put an order in for some food. We're probably not gonna do appetizers, honestly. We're just gonna get straight into it at this point. So, um, yeah, we're gonna pretty much enjoy that, eat our food, and then we'll tap in with y'all when our food comes out. <laughs> All right, so I got the turkey club with avocado and bacon. Um, they're actually gonna give me a different fries because I asked for truffle fries and she realized she forgot to tell them that I wanted truffle, but perfectly fine. Obviously, like you guys saw, my Aperol spritz and then my brother got the lobster mac and cheese looking so good. And then he's just, you know, playing it safe right now with a lemonade, so we're gonna dive in. This is blurry. I can't really tell. I'm trying to get to that point, but I can't. I gotta get my sleeping habits. Yeah, that's the biggest to, thing is to get your sleep three, back in order. If I eat at seven and I'm up till three, I'm gonna be hungry. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Damn, I was like, my nigga got four, five tickets on his shit. You know what I mean? They they're did pl not. They're playing. <laughs> Either that or it's old, and he's using it so that they don't give him another one. I did that. Uh, sorry guys, I can't tell if this is a little bit blurry or not because the weather is a little humid, or if it's a little. I know, in the, in the pack. Uh-uh. You know, I'm gonna get moving. I don't know, I can't really tell if you guys can see me. I can't tell if, yeah, I can. Everybody's over here doing exactly what you said. Uh-huh. I can't really tell if this is blurry right now, guys, or what, because. I think we good. No, it's definitely a little, bro, yeah. it's blurry. Cause we outside. Definitely blurry. But yeah, we just enjoyed good. our meal. Did you like it, bro? And that shit was fire. Yo. Lobster mac and cheese. Yo. Stephanie's. Yeah. The lobster it. mac and cheese at Stephanie's is a freaking vibe. You gotta get into it. Yeah, definitely gotta get that. And then obviously you guys saw I had the turkey club. So we're walking back to the car now. We're kind of in a time crunch because for some reason, this is really bothering me. That is that is blurry. We gotta go see my man Ablo. No, no, no. It'll be fine. Hold on. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Like, y'all was playing me. Come see the difference now. Yeah. Oh, no, we out here. Ooh. Okay, way different. Um, so, yeah, now we're gonna head over to where? the museum. I don't see a on my shit. Oh, down there. I was like, where the fuck do you see the car already? Um, yeah, we're gonna head to ICA Boston to go to the Virgil Abloh um, exhibit. I'm hoping they'll let us in because I kind of messed up. I didn't realize that they close at 5 today. The rest of the week they close at 9. So it's about 3.30 now. We're just going to head over there and see if they'll let us in. Um, hopefully they do because that was really like... They got to. Yeah, that's really what we was... Like, pressure. Okay. Pressure at the door. We was really excited about this exhibit. That yeah. was kind of like the purpose of our day today. But wanted to make sure we got some food in our system beforehand. So we're going to rush over there now and see if they'll let us in. And... Damn, this is. Listen, I'm full. I'm out of breath. I'm over here like over here breathing heavy. Breathing heavy. Well, listen, talking, holding this camera, trying to figure. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Listen, parking in Boston is literally an extreme sport because you never know if when you come back to your car if there's gonna be a ticket or not. And we Gucci y'all. So yeah, what's happening with you guys uh, once we get to the museum?
right guys, so super bright, but I like wanted to be able to see you guys. We just left the ICA Boston. Um, I can't remember what it stands for. I think it's like intercultural arts or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it stands for, but we just left the ICA Boston from the Virgil Abloh exhibit and I mean, what'd you think, Junior? Fire. Yeah, it Absolutely was fire. It was so fire and it was so cool. Like we were kind of talking to a couple people in there while we were there and everyone was kind of saying like, it's so cool to just see the progression through his art and his designs. Makes and yeah, you definitely appreciate it even more. And even if you're not really somebody who's into streetwear and it's like not really anything you care about, um, it's definitely something super cool to check out. So, oh, Institute of Contemporary Art. Sorry, I had it wrong. So Institute, Institute of Contemporary Art. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But what's the vibe? It was definitely a vibe. We loved it. Um, Junior and I pretty much finessed and said that we were still students. So it was only $10 to go. So that's something that I would say to people, obviously, like not even if you're in Boston, but like explore your city. There is so much to do and so many cool activities that you can do that I think sometimes people just forget. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy we ended up doing this day. It ended up being a beautiful day. It didn't rain at all. It's actually even hotter than what we thought it was gonna be originally. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. So we're gonna head out of the city now just because my brother's gonna head back to his place. It's almost five o'clock. Um, so traffic will start to pick up a little bit. Um, so we're gonna head out now and then, I don't really know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day, but I'll check in with you guys probably when I get back to the crib. Junior. All right, what's up guys? I am back home now. Ooh. My face is so oily, but perfectly fine. It's beautiful outside. Um, I just wanted to show you guys quick little pickups I made at, quick little pickups I made at Zara. Um, the location that I went to is not my favorite. Honestly, Newberry Street, if you've ever been to that location here in Boston, it's hectic. Um, and honestly, it's not even really the employee's fault. It's just that it's a location that a lot of people go to because of where it is. It's very accessible. It's accessible by public transit. So a lot of people go there. So it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to go in there. So I just grabbed two things that I saw. I was just kind of looking through. Again, I've really been shopping for like summer season, my trip to Jamaica. So I just picked up two things. Um, one item was on sale. And then the other item was original price, honestly. So it wasn't really like a big find or anything like that. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, this is disgusting. So whoever must have had these pants before you guys, there's like stains all over this. I just noticed this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like, look at that stain. Is that fucking blood? Oh, I'm about to lose my shit. Look at that. And this is why I don't go to that location. Honestly, I tell people anyways, wash your clothes, but I feel like they should have paid attention to that. Like, how do you put that back on the floor and sell it to someone? Somebody had to re-tag this. That's really annoying. But anyways, um, I just got these really nice trousers. They're like a tan linen color. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what that looks like there. It's just like a really, really light, light brown. Yeah, somebody fucking must have spilled something all over this. I'm annoyed. That's really annoying because these were not cheap. So I got these on sale for 40 bucks. These are $90 pants, so I don't understand why they look like this, but I really like them. They're super long, just again, the kind of white pinstripe detailing. I thought this would be nice for Jamaica. And then I also just picked up this skirt. Let me see, child, because let me find out. Maybe this freaking stains all over this shit, too. Okay, no, there's not. Which I figured probably not, because this was new. This was not a sale item. So this skirt was $45.90, if you guys can see. I know some people like to get, like, just the tag in there. There you go. So there's the tag. Got this in a medium. I think I got both things in a medium. Yeah, I got the pants in a medium as well. So this is just this really nice skirt with this polka dot. My face is so oily. But yeah, so the second thing was just that skirt. Really pretty. I like the way that this looked. Um, in person, if you actually could see it, it's like a light brown color and the dots are just like a nice like terracotta color. Um, it's cinched 
a little bit right here zipper in the back you guys can't really see and then it has just like a nice little open slit here um i'm obviously not going to try the pants on for you guys right away i could probably try these on for you guys just so you can see what this looks like please hold okay so don't mind me with my socks on <laughs> obviously i was wearing something completely different but here is the skirt so again it is like a really nice high-waisted skirt it does have the kind of like cinching detail right here over the leg uh, it has a little like slip skirt underneath so definitely love that so it's double lined so it's not like see-through and then you do have like that slit detail there but i just think it's really nice it's gonna be really cute for vacation even if i did want to do it i mean i wouldn't do it with this bralette but even if i wanted to do it with a bralette i could and then just wear it with like sandals super easy for vacation um i will say i definitely could have done a small um it's pretty loose on the waist which is fine but then definitely in the skirt area as you guys can see like it's pretty loose here but honestly i am happy with the sizing because i just like to be very like comfortable especially on vacation if you're eating you don't have to worry about it like getting super tight like I have room to do what I have to do so I really like the way this fits so thought this was cute really really like this for vacation again even with like a bathing suit top like a bikini top really love that let's just say it is way too early for all of this um but it's Wednesday July 7th um obviously as you guys can see it's 5 42 in the morning um, I'm getting ready to head out for a, I can't even talk obviously because I'm like still waking up. If anybody knows me, I'm not a morning person at all. Like I'll get up obviously if I have to do things, but I definitely don't prefer it. I'm not a morning person whatsoever, but um, I'm heading to a spin class uh, with Sabrina and Jeff this morning. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to record in there just because this is my first time going to this spin class, so I don't really know kind of what the vibe is. Um, but at least wanted to give you guys a heads up as to what I'm doing today. So I'm going to be heading out here shortly. Class starts at six, I believe. So listen, I'm doing it for today. This whole waking up at 530, especially on my vacation is not what I signed up for. So we're going to get it in today, but baby girl is going to have to do different workouts because <laughs> five 30 in the morning is just not for me. It's not, even on a vacation, and I went to bed last night at 10.30, so it's not even like I went to bed super late. It's just, this is not, this is just not my vibe, you know? I'm, a, I'm more of like a midday, or if I'm gonna do a morning workout, it needs to be like a 7.30, 8 a.m., but anyways, talk to you guys a little bit later. Ready or not, here I go, you can't hide. Gonna find you and take it slowly. Away. Those who come late know the world they kick. Jail bars ain't golden gates. Those who fake they break. When they meet their 400 pound mate, if I could rule the world, everyone would have a gun in the ghetto, of course. We get the up and on their horse. I kick around drinking moonshine. I pour a sip on the concrete for the deceased, but no, no, we. Why clubs in the state of sleep thinking about the robbery that I did last week? Money in the bag, man, could look like a drag. I wanna play with pelicans from here to Baghdad. Gun glass, think fast, I think I'm hit. My girl pitch my hips to see if I still exist. I think not, I'll send a letter to my friends. A born again, who again, only to be king again. Ready or not, here I go, you can't hide. Gonna find you and Alright, so we just finished our workout. Ooh. Feeling pretty Y'all, good. Jeff killed us. Yeah, okay. Jeff always Jeff always goes in. So Obviously, I said earlier that we were doing spin class. Um, come to the, Today, we didn't end up going just because the lady that runs it is trash. Her music is horrible. So we ended up just doing a leg day instead. So I was able to record quite a bit. Um, so it's like 7.15 now. So we're just going to head to Starbucks, probably grab some coffee. And then just going to get the day started. I've got quite a bit to do today. So let's hop into it. So I actually just got back from the grocery store. Um, 
child, I went with a whole list and, well, I shouldn't say I forgot some things. Some things they didn't have in the store. And then there were a couple things that I actually realized I didn't want to get there. I have to get from um, Target because I just prefer the brands that they have there. So um, I'm going to actually be filming a completely separate clean with me video. But obviously, since I have my groceries, I do want to clean out my fridge. So I'm going to do a deep clean of this right now. Um, I usually do this, honestly, every other week. Um, but it's been probably like a month. I've kind of been a little bit lazy with that. So I'm just going to take out a lot of stuff. I've actually already started like clearing out things right now. Um, so I'm going to take out things that are obviously expired, not good anymore, dump that out, do a deep clean, and then put the groceries in that I did get. Um, a lot of the stuff that I picked up is very similar to what I've shown you guys numerous times. Um, I didn't do like a like a really crazy grocery shopping because I am going to be going out of town um, in like a couple days. So didn't want things obviously going bad, but I'm going to prop you guys up and let you guys watch that. Ready or not. I have been editing all day, actually working on this weekly vlog. So it's like 3.40 now. Um, I want to take a break from that because I need to get started on this closet okay you guys so this is the closet that you see when you first come into my apartment don't mind that <laughs> that beach umbrella i have to like organize that but i have a lot of like my jackets and like blazers and stuff in here so it's supposed to be like a coat closet unfortunately it's had to be like storage as well just because i don't really have a lot of space in this apartment compared to my last townhouse obviously so we need to clear this out so let me just don't come for me okay because obviously you guys have seen my place is always really clean i'm very minimal oh i have an update for you guys here too i'll talk about that later but like your girl's always clean okay we're organized i can't even believe i'm about to show you guys this but y'all get into this disaster of a closet and let me tell you when i first moved here this was actually pretty organized a lot of these jackets weren't even in here some of you may remember if you follow me on social media my closet in my room actually collapsed because i had so many like jackets and blazers and things in there so i unfortunately had to move a lot of those things in here which is fine um but then it's just like chaos like i've got like house of cb boxes i've got like a pr box up there laptop whole bunch of nonsense i've got like all those christmas things that i want to get rid of like it's just like why why is there a pile of bathing suits in here so looks crazy so i am going to organize this today um like i said i'm getting rid of all my christmas stuff just because i'm gonna kind of not all of it i think there's like a couple things i might keep but for the most part we're getting rid of everything because i'm buying all new stuff this year so let's pull everything out okay we're gonna start kind of like down the bottom pull everything out pull all that stuff out honestly the jackets for the most part can stay because all of that stuff i know is gonna stay there but all the other clutter let's get rid of her
Okay, so that's like pretty good for clearing out. I completely took everything out um, at the bottom. You guys can see, hold on one second, sorry. Um, yeah, you guys can see I took everything out on the bottom, completely cleared that out. I do just have like this little like plastic here. Um, it was from my window, like sliding door, whatever thing. I took that off, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave the jackets in here because again, I don't really have any other storage space. Like this is the only clo other closet I have in my apartment, unfortunately. So I just have to keep these here. So these are fine. Um, obviously it's summertime now, so I don't even really reach for them anyways. And for the most part, when people come to my apartment, no one's looking to like hang anything up because again, it is, Summertime. I don't even know if anybody ever truly has tried to hang up a jacket here, but yeah So I've got all this stuff in here, which is fine So now I can better organize everything else that I have everything else that I need to organize down there and down there This is all the bullshit That was in that closet so now I need to go through like I know these two boxes have still been like this since I moved here a year ago so Clearly whatever's in there, I never really reached for it anyway. So I need to just go through them to get rid of things and then slowly start putting stuff back. A lot of those other two bags back there are Christmas stuff obviously that I don't want. I really hate that I'm gonna have to throw away some of it. I'm gonna see if I can donate some things. I don't really know if it's gonna make sense since obviously it's July if anybody's gonna want that stuff, but gonna get rid of everything and then slowly start putting stuff back in. Uh, got some like little mini backdrops that like Sabrina uses when she shoots content here. I use them sometimes as well for flat lays. Um, and then yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> So this was the first ever PR package I received from Vanity Makeup. As you guys can see that here. So like this, honestly, I've never used any of the products. I don't even know when they expire. I know I'm sure they're fine, but like, just look how beautiful that is. I really should give maybe like a couple palettes to people, but I don't know. This was really sentimental to me that this was my first one. So I kind of keep it and don't want to get rid of it because I just think it's the coolest thing ever. So ah, we're keeping this. So like this box is still very necessary just because this is like CDs, books that I used to keep in my desk, but obviously I don't have a desk anymore. So I understand obviously why I didn't really go through any of this stuff, but it's nothing that I want to get away or throw away, I should say, just because like, yeah. Okay, like your girl buys CDs and there's just like CDs that I don't wanna get rid of, like, no. So I've got a bunch of CDs and books in there, so I'm just gonna actually close this up because that can go right back in the closet the way it was. Um, I thought it was like a lot more trash and stuff that I didn't need, which I should have just read the box because it says desk stuff. Um, but yeah, this will stay in the closet. So honestly, I don't really think it's too much like having to reorganize, it's just take all the Christmas shit out, throw it away. And then I do need to find a home for my bathing suits. I don't know why all of them ended up in this closet, but yeah. <laughs> so there are a couple boxes that like I still want to keep. Like, I don't know if you guys were able to even see it in that clip, but I did put my laptop case in there, a uh, box just because God forbid something happens. I like to be able to have that if there's any information I need in there, serial number. Um, I mean, I don't really think I need this box anymore. Honestly, just because everything that I need to know about that damn camera, I can find online, but I just keep it just in case because the manual is in here. So we're gonna put that back in the closet. So this is what this looks like now. So much better. Obviously not perfect. I, in a perfect world, this would not be a coat closet slash storage, <laughs> but I, I have no choice. Okay. This is what happens when you pay $3,000 to live in a 40 square foot apartment. <laughs> 
No, I'm just kidding. But obviously, anybody who lives in a city definitely knows, you know, not the most storage, but it works. Very, very happy that I can see the floor again. I know what's in here. I can easily grab stuff. Very pleased. Sometimes you sit there long enough and you forget that you're even vlogging. So I am actually just making um, dinner right now, quick little dinner. It's kind of like my go-to when I don't really feel like thinking much. So I'm just making um, stuffed peppers. So just actually cooking my ground turkey right now. Um, I always make a lot of ground turkey just because if I have any left over, I like to use it in like a salad or I can do lettuce wraps or whatever. So um, I do like my ground turkey a little bit more like saucy, not like totally saucy. Obviously you can see it's cooking, but I do like it a little bit more M-O-I-S-T. I hate that word, but I don't like it dry. Like I like it a little bit more saucy. So just gonna let that cook a little bit longer. Uh, lower the heat but looks and smells amazing i did taste a little bit already um just have my peppers and stuff that i've already like cut and gutted and everything so going to stuff those gonna add some mozzarella cheese on top throw that in the oven for like seven minutes or so just to kind of cook the top and get it a little golden brown um i'm thinking i might make a salad to have on the side but i'm not too sure yeah i'm not really that hungry today believe it or not I didn't eat much. I had avocado toast today, but I'm not that hungry, so we'll kind of see what we're feeling. Um, but gonna finish this up and throw that in the oven. All right, sorry, my TV is so loud. I am watching YouTube as always, but here is my dinner. Let me turn the brightness down just because this looks like uber red. I mean, it's red, it's a red pepper. But anyways, here is my dinner. Just did the stuffed red pepper, so it's ground turkey with a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top, and then I just did a uh, spinach and kale mixed salad just with cucumbers, tomatoes, and avocado, kind of like my go-to with a little bit of avocado ranch dressing on top. So that is my dinner for tonight. But yeah, you guys, so I'm pretty much going to enjoy my dinner now watching some YouTube. I'm watching Nazanin right now. Um, it's 7.45, so I'm honestly not really gonna do much the rest of the night. Gonna continue working on the vlog that we're watching right now. Listen, when you have a weekly vlog, it is a lot to edit because you're editing like five days worth of content so i like to get ahead if you will so probably gonna do that for the rest of the night and um sabrina's coming over tomorrow because she has some cupcakes and cocktails things to work on so tomorrow is gonna be a content day again which we love it here so um yeah see you guys tomorrow greetings welcome back today's friday oh y'all can't even see me Sorry, because obviously all the light is behind me, but it is Friday, July 9th, um, way later in the day. It's like 5.40. I've honestly just been relaxing all day. It was torrential downpouring, and your girl was not trying to do nothing, so here we are. Sabrina's here, as you guys can see in the background over here. She is actually here to prep some stuff, like I mentioned. I think I mentioned it yesterday in the video stuff for cupcakes and cocktails. She has to make like 500 cupcakes for this weekend. So between the pop-up shop that she's gonna be at and an event that she got booked for. The girl's booked and busy, so she's here with all her stuff. About to get into it. So when people think, oh, it's just, let me just slap some cupcakes together. It's not, okay, y'all? It's not TikTok time. It costs so much cause it takes me fucking hours. <laughs> it costs so much cause it takes me fucking hours. <laughs> Period, okay, sis is out here. She got not one but two KitchenAid okay. mixes, okay? So she's getting after it, okay? Getting after it and there's all the outlets. There's like six outlets right in this corner. So yeah, she's about to get into that. And then she's so freaking sweet because just to say thank you, which obviously she didn't need to, she brought me my favorite, Boom Chicka Pop, and a Starbucks gift card. I freaking love her. Yes, love that. So, we just gonna be chilling. Um, I had a little sliver of Tito's left, so I made me a Tito's orange. It literally tastes like orange juice, because I had a... Orange as well. Hmm? I made me an orange as well. Yeah. Girl, I literally had a sliver from that bottle. It was enough for me to just be like, wow. boom, done, bottle. So yeah, we're pretty much just gonna be chilling here. Been listening to some music. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So we'll tag on a little bit later. So I ordered, um, I kept saying pompous grass, but they're not. They're Uva stocks is the proper name from CB2. 
Um, I saw them on a, like a lot of different influencers have them. So I'm just giving you all a little sneak peek. So that's what they look like. So pretty. But they do shed. So I think I have to spray them when I take them out. But I'm not going to take them out just yet because I don't have a vase for them just quite yet so i'm just gonna keep them in this box it's gonna look hideous Ooh, along with this angle um i'm just gonna keep them in the box for now until i get a vase for them to go in but they're gonna be in this corner right here so it's gonna be in this corner like across from my mirror oh it's gonna look so good because when i do ootds and stuff you'll be able to see it in the back but i just wanted to minimize boxes a little bit you know and then I got a package from Ikea. Took forever, but I'm gonna be putting together finally my gallery walls. So I got one, two, three, eight of these. Eight of the 12, mm -mm, 12 by 16, there we go. So I got the 12 by 16 frames in, oh, hold on, this is blurry. Please hold. Yeah, so much better. So I got eight of these 12 by 16 frames. Um, you can have them like this, vertical or horizontally, and they're gonna go up on this big wall above my couch, which is the reason why it's been empty for so long because I wanna do a really nice gallery wall up there. So not gonna put everything up just yet because I do need to map it out. I need to get command hooks and then I need to print pictures. So yeah, really happy with those. You don't love me as I know now. The people, listen. Stop playing with her. Okay, we rewatching Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Get into it, y'all. So, Sabrina, what are these again? These are Oreo um, cupcakes or cookies and cream. Yes, y'all. Get into it. Sabrina is going in, okay? This girl is hustling and grinding. Look at the mix in here. You know, got the Oreos in there. I told y'all, you got to get both of them, okay? Not one KitchenAid, but two. Got to get two of them going to make sure. We already got some batches already done over here. So, in this one, we've got pineapple and Oreo and then in this one we've got some vanilla and Oreo but I vlog shout out to my brother happy birthday thank you, okay thank you. yeah make sure y'all leave some comments down below and tell them happy birthday one time 27 Appreciate out here birthday. okay okay we get, old we get old out here and I'm gonna make sure I leave his cash app if y'all want to send they send a little oh, some yeah. <laughs> I'm going to lead a cash app. Send some money on the cash app. <laughs> you guys excited? You want to see it again? Yee, good job. Okay, good. I know she'll be happy. How'd you like it? Fire. Fire? Which one did you have? Oh, Oreo. What'd you have? Vanilla? Who's Pili Pili is this? My mom. <laughs> <laughs> Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. I can't be that. Why you tryna break us up? When I'm tryna build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. Why you wanna run away? Why you gotta be afraid? I wish I could make you stay. Cause baby, I love you.
he goes, Like on TV. Bad, 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 bad.